Uh, I think I might need a bigger desk. I had been using two 16 by 9 1080p displays for a really long time. That was pretty much my standard. Like dual monitor setups aren't super unconventional. Like they're pretty popular nowadays, but essentially the benefits of using them and why I had them is I could be doing a productivity thing on one monitor and then uh, maybe not something so productive like playing a game on the other. Or I could be like streaming and have chat open on another, or I could be doing double work. I could have like something I'm writing and a spreadsheet on the other one. Now, the perks of dual monitors are really great, but whenever you have it set up, you're losing a lot of height. This is about 44 inches wide, but only about 12 and a half tall. Now, a while ago, this is probably a few years ago, I tried experimenting with a big 4K TV as a monitor right in the middle of my desk, and then I took my dual monitors and I put them in portrait, and it worked fine. I didn't really like using portrait, so those monitors were pretty much nothing. And then the big middle one, it's nice having a big screen, but it only is one display. Whereas this LG one, you can do a lot of picture in picture customization. Now, this thing is huge. Like I'm literally going to have to pan the camera up so you can actually see all of it. Now again, this is a 4K panel. So you're getting four times the resolution of the 1080p monitors that we had before. So it's effectively like you had, instead of having just two in the bottom, now you have two on the top. Now this specific monitor isn't quite as wide. It's only 38 inches, but you're gonna get some height. It went from about 12 and a half to 22 inches. Now for productivity, this thing is fantastic. It's really color accurate compared to the gaming monitors that I had. And you could just fit a ton on the one screen because it's so massive. You can see your timeline and have the video preview and you don't have to set up a bunch of weird windows to be able to do it all. And of course, gaming on a big TV is fantastic. Like that's kind of the whole appeal of playing on a console is like you can just sit in your living room and you have this big old screen and you sit in front of it. And it is fantastic. If you can run PC games at 4K, go for it. You are going to have so much fun. Now, the only bad thing is, I don't know if you've noticed it, um, screen tearing. Screen tearing on this big of a screen is massive. It is such a, a headache inducing and just a, a pain to look at, a, a pain to play with. If you can't run this well, like you really have to fine tune your settings or else you just aren't going to have a good time. Now I've had my brother play on this and I don't think he's had quite as big of a negative response with screen tearing and stuff like that. So maybe it's like, you know, just person to person, uh, or maybe I'm more prone to getting headaches or something, but like you, you really want to dial it in. Uh, unfortunately, it, you know, it is, is not a perfect solution, which leads me into another negative. And this is easily one of the biggest things that made me kind of actually want to quit using it is it's huge, <laughs> which is obvious. Like that's, that's the appeal of it. But if you want it on a desk, you need a lot of depth. My, my desk is plenty wide, but it's not super deep. It takes up almost a whole foot from the wall inward and my desk like it can't really handle that and it makes my posture bad being in front of it so in closing i think the best way to summarize my experience with this monitor is to throw it back to the intro and say uh i think i'm gonna need a bigger desk